Yo guys, Master Markov here, and welcome back to another episode of Coffee Talk. Two weeks later! Oh man! So, two weeks from, what, the 4th? That's, what, the 18th now? The 18th we're on. You can't just throw a two weeks later up like that. Coachella Festival is supposed to be a major boost for Seattle tourism. Ooh, I don't know what any of those numbers mean. Good, more women have spoken out and claimed Morris Lester lied. Oh, about what? Initial reports indicate possible herpes outbreak at Coachella. Oh shoot, that that makes the most sense surprisingly. Hey, look at that, everybody chillaxing. <laughs> Hello, finally here. Hey all. Yo, what up everybody? Hey, yo. Hey Freya. Hmm. Something's feeling happy today. Or someone's feeling happy today. Of course. Did they? They approved it. We're so happy for you. Congrats. Aww. Oh my. You know how happy I am? Judging from your expression, I'd say somewhere between ecstatically and rap. <laughs> what? Ratchur rapturously? I've never heard that word before. I'd say somewhere between ecstatically and rapturously. <laughs> You're goddamn right. Oh my god, oh my god! How'd they react to the draft? Surprisingly, they liked it. That's amazing. I know, right? I couldn't believe it either. They told me if the book sells well. Man, what is with, like, her awkward expressions? Told me if the book sells well, they definitely signed me for a second book. I'm so happy for you. Anyway. Oh, is that also a reference to possible second game? Eh, eh, eh. Second game? Maybe, please, please. That'd be great. Maybe some new characters, but Neil better still be here. And God, he needs to be here with, like, a wife. That'd be hilarious. A wife who does cosplay and understands why Neil's dressed like that. BAM! There you go! Boom! Shakalaka! I just solved your problems, Coffee Talk. Please take this advice, please take this advice, please take this advice. I would love for the development of this game to be established by the time the in-real-world version of the times of this game are out. You know what would be funny, though? Is to re-release this. Or someone who actually plays this to edit and release this on the same, like, day as the actual coffee talk takes place. That'd be kind of cool, to be honest with you. Like, have the coffee talk ma the coffee talk makers do it. It'd be really late, but God, it would be good. You know, I, 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 I gotta see. I gotta see, though. I gotta see real quick. Thank you. Oh. Wow. Your fiction plan free trial is over. Do you enjoy the content we provide for you? Do subscribe to our fiction plan for only $5 a month to join our premium. Subscription plan for only $10 a month with access to all your content. Uh, with your subscription, you can help support high-quality, unbiased journalism, as well as giving young fiction writers an appreciative audience. I gotta check with Tomodachi. Do you think that Neil has changed anything? <laughs> Guess not. Man, this is great! I'm loving this. <laughs> Whatever happens with the book now, I could take things a little slower. Because they gave me a year to finish it. With a feedback session every month. Sounds professional enough? Of course. They are the biggest publishers around. Oh, so hey, so now that everything's like all combined and together, either Aqua or Myrtle is the um, roommate of Lua. So we know that. So, cause one of them were away for a weekend while Bailey's was at his place. Bailey's is here with them. So she should know one of them is your like future wife's roommate anything with that no no one wants to piece that bit together eh, 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 eh. no all right or if Ga if all of them were there like gala was there and hyde was also here to like piece together hey you're the vampire i talk to hey you're the werewolf i talk to ah, ah i love this i'm loving this i'd like this is the best oh my god this is the most high potential crossover ever seen and yes, better than Universal Studios' dark universe that they keep trying to do, which isn't pulling off very well. 
They are the biggest publishers around. Enough about me. How's coffee shop been doing? Um, it's been great. Even though people keep, you know, ordering drinks without actually paying me. <coughs> cough, cough, wink, wink, cough, cough, wink, wink. Wink, wink, cough, cough, wink, wink. Had a lot of new customers lately. And some old timers, of course. Heard, heard High is coming back from his trip to Korea? Oh yeah, right, he was in Korea. Yeah. Brought us some gifts back. He didn't get any for me. I'm not sure. But he did say that he always gives gifts directly. Gift giving the old fashioned way, huh? How about you? Yeah, how were your, how was your weekend? Things are great. Last time I saw you was before your mini break? Yeah, we decided to go to Coachella. Wow. That event was a mess. Yeah, I heard, trust me. <laughs> yeah, three hours at a festival was enough for us. Where'd you go after that? We ended up at Port Townsend. How was it? I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Never knew a historical trip could be fun. Oh yeah, I saw your new profile, Pick Aqua. You both look cute. Ooh, you can't tell me that and then not expect me to go immediately check. Oh boy. Okay, what is going on with my mouse right now? It is like going all over the place. Oh, I didn't even know. Wait, everybody. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Lua, is that new? That looks new. I swear Lua's looks new. Uh, Freya, was that, is this new or is this the same actually? Uh, anything different for this? Nope. I like this. That's still cute as heck. Aw. But also, you got your hair braided? Like that? Like, that's not how it looks like from the side. Oh, anything different on here? That doesn't seem like it. But yeah, like, that doesn't seem like how this picture does. It's not the same color. Both look so cute. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Thanks. Was that taken during your vacation? No. It was at Max. They had a Japanese-style photo booth there. So I forced her to take a picture together. You were at Max too, Myrtle? Yeah. Helped her out a bit with the booth. Thank you. You don't have to keep. Th you don't have to keep thanking me. By the way, any of you heard from Neil? No. Not me. They did send two postcards to the coffee shop. Really? Yeah, one's from Coachella. It's not even that far away. I sent a postcard. Hard to tell with them. What about this? What about the second one? It's from New York. Oh. You went to Metropolis? Or Gotham? Whichever one you want to consider. I guess, um, Manhattan would be Metropolis and Brooklyn would be Gotham. What? What are they doing in New York? Oh, you know, I went to this bar called Valhalla. Hmm. Beats me. We're going on their mission, maybe. Huh, yeah, probably. They'd stand more of a chance there. To be honest, they would. Though, maybe not out of love. Anyway, guys. Leaving for the night. Oh, come on. So soon? You're here for hours before you arrive. You need to work tomorrow. <laughs> Fair enough. Take care on your way. Good luck with the novel. Thanks. See you, Marv. See you around. <laughs> Man. So, Baileys, scoot yourself on over, come on! Pop a squat! Look happier than when I first met them. They do. It's not easy to find someone you can be comfortable with. Such a short amount of time. Yeah. Anyways. Baileys? Sorry if it seems like I'm ignoring you, Baileys. Hmm, no worries. <laughs> I don't feel ignored at all. Are you by yourself tonight? No, I'm waiting for Lua. She has some work to do. This late at night? Yeah. She's been doing overtime for the past few days. How are the two of you doing? Things have been great. <clears throat> in fact, after ten years together, finally moving in together next month. Oh wow, congrats. 
Wait, so what you're telling me is either Aqua or Myrtle. I'm gonna assume Myrtle. I'm just gonna assume Myrtle, by how they like phrased it, is now moving. Like, Lua is now moving out of Myrtle's place, so Aqua might be able to move into Myrtle's place with Myrtle, and, um, Bailey's will let, you know, well, they actually, they'll have to find a new place together, but still, you know, wow, congrats. But I thought Lua lived with her flatmate. We're moving to a new place. She got promoted re recently, and her company's providing her with an apartment. Wow, she must be a really big deal in her office. Well, she definitely earns more than me. That's not saying much, Baileys. <laughs> you shouldn't say that to a fellow freelancer. Oh, here she comes. Watch out, boy, she'll chew you up. Oh, here she comes. Baileys, I'm so sorry. I didn't expect it to take so long. I thought it would be done by... Honey, it's alright. Freya and Marv have been keeping me company anyways. Oh, hey Freya. And Marv. Sorry for barging in without saying hi. How's it going? I'd say things are great. But not as great as you two lovebirds. You told her already? Only about the moving in part. <laughs> as you've heard, we're going to move in together next month. And? I feel like they're trying to have a ring on it, you know, that kind of thing. Where is it? Not far. I mean, company provided the place. So they want to cut my community costs as much as possible. That's the last fall of them. I mean, they don't need to reimburse my taxi fees when I'm working overtime. Oh, yeah, that too. It also means we get to visit this place more often. That's a good point. I feel this coffee shop a lot anyways. Aww. Don't mention it. Please, don't. I have a question for both of you. Go on. Last time we met... I believe you were going to introduce Bailey to your parents. How'd it go? Yeah, how did that go? Man, her father didn't kill me at least. Well, at least Papa let you eat lunch with us. That's rare, you know. I know. And at least they didn't say no. Which means a lot, I guess. Good start. Definitely a good start. Anyway, Baileys, here you go now. Or we'll miss the intro again. Folks going somewhere? Here, yeah, gonna watch the midnight screen of Full Metal Conflict. Oh? Really? They made the movie that fast? I'm surprised. I thought they said that was like a while away. It didn't take you for someone who likes the FMC Lua. I don't know, but this guy loves it. Hey, you always enjoy watching me playing the game. I enjoyed watching you, not the game. Too bad I didn't introduce you to Myrtle just now, Baileys. She works on the game. Really? Oh well, I'll be visiting this place more often. I'll probably meet her again, one of these days. You probably will. Now go, you lovebirds. Wait, I mean, Myrtle, who works on the game, Lua, if she didn't immediately um, call her out for it, then maybe Aqua is the one who is with Lua? Like, who was living with her? Who knows? Now go, you lovebirds. You don't want to miss the movie. Alright. Catch up with you later, Freya. Bye, Marv. Enjoy the movie. Please, do enjoy the show. There they go. It's happy for them. Yeah, they still got a long way to go, though. And probably a lot of obstacles in their path. But they're moving forward. Yeah. So, how you write their story? As it is. It's beautiful enough. And it has enough drama. Ha. Uh, <laughs> that's one way to put it. It certainly is! This definitely was a drama-filled series for sure. Anyways. Uh, what's that look for? Why are you giving me that smile that sly smile? Hmm? You haven't told me about any of our other friends here. How are they doing? Oh, you only skipped coming for 10 days. What'd you expect? Well, and they played an important part in my writing process, remember? Well, there are some updates about the regulars. Tell me, tell me. Uh, where should we start?
Oh. Lua visits this place more often now that they live nearby. Last time they came, they were talking about catering and venues. Oh? Ooh. Hyde returned from his trip to Korea and bought, brought gifts. They're more special than others. But he's considering moving back to Seattle, if his agency allows it. Aqua continues her work with the university. And... She's still working on small indie games. Differences, she's not alone now. <laughs> Neil! Well, Neil is Neil. The only news about his superhero breeding mission are on two postcards he sent me. Rachel's back to the recording studio, preparing for her first studio album, or solo album. She found a new manager, someone who made the news as a legend coming back to the industry. And finally, Freya, she finished her book. Get published, got published, and some signing sessions. It was a massive success. Sold out even after a fourth printing. So it might be adapted into a movie one day. Ooh. Wow. And that was Coffee Talk. Oh, man. That, ooh, God. This game took so long and such a turn, honestly, that I wasn't expecting. This was nice. This was honestly really, really nice to do a visual novel again. Uh... It's, it's been a while since I've been able to do one of these, and of course I do like to take my time with these because I like to get the, you know, process of it going for a while. Even though the recording doesn't take as long nearly as publishing it does, I do like to take my time recording it as well. Ah. I'm glad that I could share this experience with you guys, though. It's been a while since I've actually just played one of these games and just said, you know what? I'm passionate about this, passionate about the people behind it, know the people behind it, not directly personally, but have been following them for quite a while. Please give my fair wishes to all the people and the Coffee Talk team, despite all the... Also, does that say development cats and development babies? <laughs> oh, that's great. And all the beta testers. Aw, oh, man. So here's the thing, I did play the demo, and it's also out on the channel, so anyone who sees the demo, or has seen the demo, you could all go check it out there. Um, the problem was, I was too late for this. This is the game that, yes, I would have put my name smack dab in these credits, but I was too late to put them in here, and I'm so sad at that. Oh man. I hope that this game, like, also says, and thanks to you. Ah, it has, like, a name there. Ah, oh, there it is! And you! I love games that do that. It doesn't even matter if it's, like, literally just and you after the special thanks. That's always, it just puts a tinge in my heart. Who are you? Welcome. Hello, Marv. Good evening, sir. Um, have we met before? Sure, this is your first time here. Of course I've been here. In fact, I've worked here before. What? Wait. No way. Is that really you? It's been a while. You've changed. A bit too much. I learned a lot about how to live with your people since then. I assume it was a success then? Multiple successes. What's with a new look then? Just trying to blend in. Seems like Earthling's immigra immigration agency is after me. Now that you mention it, somebody did visit this place looking for you. When was it? How long after your second visit here? Was it he a bald guy in a suit? Yes. Hmm. That F.I.R.E. agent. You seen him? Yes, thankfully I've changed my appearance since then. By the way, you could drop the act in front of me. Hmm? So you finally noticed? I think that such power could be born from our kind. You're good with your act, though. It took a few tries, but there are some timelines where I... Hmm. Where I forget to pretend that I don't have... 
some knowledge of certain stuff. Hmm, interesting. Now I'm curious to know about those mistakes. Well, it happened a few times. First, when Freya told me about her meeting in the elevator. Then it was the first time Rachel visited this place. The last one involved you on your second visit. Huh? Oh, and there was that other one right after Freya got a draft approved. Can you show it to me? Assuming you know how I communicate with my kind. Never tried it, but let's see. Be the main story of the game, but you haven't seen everything yet. Was that Neil? Wait a freaking minute! Hold up! Hold up! Hold up! Did you just... Wait a freaking minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, 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 okay. Can you show it to me? Does that mean you want me to go back to the days? Oh, Lord. Okay. So it wants me... Yeah, wow, okay. So it wants me to go, I think, to those days. When the heck were those days? So, yeah. Um, I think it literally wants me to play all the days that that I have, but here's the thing, what does this mean for that? Like, do I get a fast forward? How does fast forwarding work? Oh, I just gotta hold that, huh? Okay, for that, wait, do I have my things? Oh, I still have my knowledge! I think I do need to, like, um, do some stuff, though, so give me a moment. I'm supposed to be able to trash a certain amount. Okay, see, now it's a stop it. It's supposed to be like 25 times in total, and then after that, um... So if I fast forward through this... You're about to tell me about your meeting in the elevator. Oh yeah, that. Huh? Wait, I didn't tell you about that. How'd you know? Well, I was just guessing. No way a, a guess could be that specific. Uh... You're being very suspicious. Maybe... You have another news source? Hmm... I have no comment. I knew it. But I haven't told anyone about this. Oh wait, was it someone who saw me entering the elevator in a hurry? Theorize all you want, but it's just a theory! A GAME THEORY! I won't comment on anything. Okay, okay. I understand the importance of keeping sources confidential. So I'll pretend you never said anything. Thanks. So yeah, where were we? Aha, uh -huh. you're planning to do something. Yeah, okay, so that was when she told me about the meeting with the elevator. Yeah, I could do latte art. Hum -de dum de dum I will do a thing for you, la 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 la. Bam, 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 look at that! Yeah, smiley face, everyone enjoys one of those, here's your order. That's what you call latte art? That's cute. There you go. Serve with a smile. So now I just gotta go to, what, day three? I feel like maybe I could actually, like, load the game at different points. Man, I still forgot about that. I agree with Officer Georgie. You don't need to make a snap decision. I'm sure you and Mr. Hendry will find some common ground together. I never knew what her dad's name was! See, I didn't say this before, but I'm slipping up now because I forgot I had knowledge. Ah. Now look at that. Why are you all looking at me like that? How do you know my father's name? Uh, oh no. What was that? Nothing. Dad visited this place before? I can't say anything about that. Mmm, you sly. You were just about to say something, weren't you, Officer Georgie? Right? Well, I was. I want to talk about more of your problems. But now... Now I'd recommend you just go home. Really late. I need to go home as well. I'll give you a ride. He said the next time was... Oh shoot, I forgot what he said the next time was. The second time... He visited? So what, were one of those aliens as well?
You know what to do. What if I don't know what to do? What if I forgot what Galahad is because I completely passed it out of my memory since it's been so long since I had to serve one? What if that's it? Huh? Huh? What are you gonna do then? All oh, right, I know exactly what you do then. You literally go on a rampage because I freaking can't look at my phone when you turn into a werewolf. Also, I technically messed this up the last time before, like a time before that. In another yet third timeline. Oh, you know what? I keep I keep forgetting that stupid Midsummer Night's Dream thing, right? Tea, lemon, honey. Oh, that's not... Man! I mean, I'm pretty sure that's probably what it's gotta be. Because it's got tea, it's got that lemony thing in it, and it's got the stick hanging out, so it's probably tea, lemon, honey. But I can't do it. Because you need something that's warm and cool at the same time. So it's literally... Uh, yeah, weird. Serve it. Sorry there's no latte art. Do I spoil something here about, like the whole thing that maybe like I tell him that he's like a war veteran or something in advance like it's got to be around here oh good evening nice to see you again Neil yeah he didn't tell me what his name was we are also glad to see you barista although we do not think we have told you about the name we use on earth again uh it's just that you know, kind of remind me of our first man on the moon. Oh, really? You have chosen the right name, then. Because that was where our name came from. This has happened three times now. You really are hiding something, huh? What are you talking about? Oh, well. And then it would be this day... No, hold on. Right? It's... It's this. 18. Who's gonna be here now? By the way, I haven't seen your final draft. May I read it? Sure. Who wrote an extra copy? Let's see. Oh? Hmm. Main character is a time traveler. Subtly. I mentioned it just uh, enough to raise suspicion. Where'd you get the inspiration for the character? You know the answer. Why would I? Either you're smart enough to get a what I mean, or you already know what my answer is. <laughs> Don't think about it too much. It's only a story. Anyways. Hmm. What's that look for? Well. I'll tell you how the rest of the friends are doing. Well, there are some updates about the regulars. Where should we begin? So she found out, huh? Clever as usual. In some timelines, yeah. But I have to ask you this. Why? Why what? Why do all this? Opening the cafe. Connecting people. I just like to make sure things go alright. Besides, yes. I also have to make sure that'll exist on Earth. Ah. That's one hell of an important task, indeed. Oh my god, am I your... Th am I Neil's son, who then time travels back into the past to make sure I'm born? Maybe this was a bar still. Maybe that's why I'm rich. Oh shoot, I didn't even think about that. It is. Okay, you've blown my mind there? Um, let's go down this real quick. Um, just, just, just because free brew, because I want to brew some of the things I haven't been able to. I think it's in this order. Yep, serve that. Um, now that I know what some of the rest of the drinks actually are that I could go through, though I do need to figure out what that one of the milk ones are. This has been like a really, really nice, fun game. What a thriller! But I've been called out as a time traveler, apparently! Huh! And, uh... Who would've guessed that? I guess technically I should've because I am a time traveler, but, you know, besides that... I'm able to see into the future. And, well, the past, I guess. Though, technically I lived it already. Though, well, I guess I didn't live it, but it's been lived already, so I am from the future. So, apparently we're the superhero that comes from the future. 
That's apparently one of our things. Ooh, the Grinch. I do love how that looks. Ooh, new drink from Maestro. Count me in. We only have two more left to get. Two milk ones, I believe. Oh, and two coffee ones, actually. That's surprising. Let's get the milk ones first. The one I know, it's milk, mint, lemon from what those freaking specs look like. Since lemon has to be like the... I don't want to call it primary because it's literally not the primary, but it's secondary. Let's get uh, this one out the way. Lemon snippet. Cool. Alright, two more to go. Double shot of coffee with a lemon. To make a black lemon. That's what the peel is. Then we're gonna need coffee, mint, and honey. In order to make one of my favorite sounding drinks, Black Magic. Ooh, guess we already had that one. Uh, no, I believe that is actually all. Master Brewer! Ah, so, with that out of the way, this was honestly a really, really great, great, amazing game. Had a lot of fun playing it, had a lot of fun being there for it. Just, just being able to make the latte art is honestly a really nice touch, but god, is it have like the world's weirdest physics that I was not expecting. One of our kind, we're like a space alien superhero who time travels, it's just a story though, so you never know. I think we might have to end this episode here, I know it sucks, but we've had a lot of time enjoying some of our friends and acquaintances grow as this coffee shop does. Honestly, it's been great to see all of it unfold, and I feel like with a lot of it, it gives you the choice as the player of exactly what happens. It's not in a way where it's like, ah, and then you fail because you messed up. It's like, nope, if you decide to go your own way and do everything correct, it's still not quite right. Well, I guess nothing ever is quite right, huh? At least it never looks that way until you get to the end. So, for now, I think we're going to end this episode here. Um, after achieving greatness in one of my new favorite games on the block, I've got to say, I do enjoy everything that I've done. And I hope to see you all on this game. Uh, maybe I'll do like a challenge mode for the game, but eh, I honestly doubt that I really will. Because that I might just do for my own personal enjoyment, just to clear all the achievements for it. So, if you guys like this video, like, comment, subscribe down below. And we'll see you next time. More Coffee Talk. Peace.